and we will continue the search throughout the night and into the morning. Well, this Undersized lobster is a misdemeanor. Egg-bearing lobster, which is very easy to notice the end. Right now we have the fire department and and Miami Beach Police Department along with ourselves searching for the missing boat. Ronald works with the Fish and Wildlife Commission. Cedric is a seventh grade student. Third down. Say hi. You may not think they would have much in common, but it's a friendship that started three years ago. It's cool because I never had a younger brother. And I'm, as the youngest of three brothers, and now it's it's a brand new experience for me. They're part of Big Brothers Big Sisters Miami. Cedric has siblings of his own, but his mother wanted to make sure he had a male role model. Are you hungry? And he says Ronald is more than just a mentor. I really don't count him as a big brother, big sister program. I'm just kind of like as an actual family member. Because of Ronald's job, the duo gets to have some pretty cool adventures. I'm out the house and I'm working with some of my favorite animals, like alligators. As equally wild as his day job, Ronald was a contestant on American Ninja Warrior and helped Cedric tackle the course. One thing we do, we go to Ninja Warrior, like it's a gym, and like we do the obstacles. My favorite one is the uh, spider wall. I get to now bring him into the, the sport and take him to the local ninja gyms and help him overcome obstacles because once you can overcome an obstacle in the gym you can apply that same principle and concept to real world obstacles if i can apply the principles that i've learned with this job then i think i can become the next man in the world Four thirty a.m. I wake up and go for a run with my wife, and I'm driven by increasing my cardio to elevate my performance from other competitors, making us grow stronger together as partners as well. Then I go train at an obstacle gym at six thirty a.m., where my coach pushes me past my limits because he knows what I'm up against, and the boundary gets pushed further and further each day. You can call it a medicine. I call it my coping mechanism. Ninja gets me through stressful days. Like-minded people that this sport has connected me with has been the greatest gift of all. Before I begin a ninja competition, the neurons start to light up and fire my body up and I go into a fight or flight mode. The adrenaline dump is so real and it's addictive. I'm audacious. I'm married, I'm a normal guy, but I love to ninja. As you've already seen, the situations I encounter at work can get extremely dangerous but this sport is also equally dangerous and i live that high risk life on and off duty and i like to say you gotta risk it to get to the biscuit who do y'all think is going to be the next american